Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Broly 555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 series. Unfortunately, I could not live stream this game tonight because I had issues with OBS. You see, I got this new 4K gaming laptop, and I really, really wanted to live stream the game in 4K onto my Kick channel. But unfortunately, when I was testing out OBS to see what my footage would look like when I streamed to Kick, there was this staticky stuff that was appearing on my footage during my playthrough of practice mode. And of course, when I'm playing it on my computer, that stuff's not there, and I couldn't resolve the issue. And so I had to set up on NVIDIA to record this footage for you guys. And yeah, I guess that's really all there is to it. So. This game, at least, is going to be recorded offline and uploaded later. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to attempt to solve my OBS issues, and if I cannot do that, I may have to use NVIDIA to stream in the future. But I'll deal with that another time. For now, let's get into the Dynasty mode here, which it's been an exciting week. The Gravy Man scored a humongous victory. He was 4-2 overall, playing 6-1 South Florida at home. And these are the two best offenses, basically, in the Big East. The two best passing attacks in the conference. With the two best quarterbacks in the conference going head-to-head. -head. And the Gravy Man survived an unbelievable show by South Florida. South Florida was scoring at will on him. They dropped 21 in the first quarter. They were up 42-35 to at halftime. And even though the Gravy Man started scoring at will in the second quarter, it seemed like it would be for naught because South Florida was just scoring at will on his defense. But then after halftime, the Gravy Man pulled off the greatest second half turnaround on defense in his entire history, giving up only three points in the second half and pulling out a 56-45 win at home against a very potent and dangerous South Florida team that, quite frankly may not lose again the rest of the season. Pat White for the Gravy Man went 15-32 for 380 yards with, I think, five touchdown passes and one pick and ran the ball 31 times for 273 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. So the Gravy Man got his huge victory. And I have a home game with UCLA, who is 4-2 overall and coming off a 51-20 loss to Arizona. I, of course, am the undefeated Oregon Ducks. I'm 6-0 in the season. I'm ranked number two. And I'm on a 32-game win streak because I had undefeated runs to national championships in each of the first two years. I have a number one offense. And my defense is doing pretty good. And UCLA, well, they got a semi-potent passing attack. So, I don't know. We'll see if my defense can get back on track after they had a subpar performance against Cal Golden Bears. All right, let's get right into this, shall we? Uh, I think... Yeah... I'm thinking that this needs to be... This uniform. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then UCLA is that. Okay, and then... All right, so let's get into the action, shall we? Hmm. This is going to be an impressive game. UCLA is trying to get back on track towards contending for second place and maybe even the conference championship. And I, of course, am trying to stay on the course to appear in the national championship. So, yeah, a lot of stuff going on in this game. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the UCLA Bruins and the Oregon Ducks. Okay. It's about midway through the college football season, and these two schools from the Pac-10 are ready to go. And here come the Ducks. The Ducks are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Oregon 
should win big, and chances are, because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. I agree with you on this one. I'm picking the Oregon Ducks. Well, that's it for our pregame. Let's get down to the field so we can get this thing started with a coin toss sponsored by Coca-Cola. Whatever you say, bro. Of course, Jason Williams is currently the front runner for the Heisman. So hopefully I can get another big day out of him today to keep Pat White at bay. Of course, Sam Brown's number three in the Heisman race, so he'll come shooting up too. All right, defense. Let's get a stop to start the game. The Oregon has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Boom. Here's the kick. Austin fields it at the two. A little shake and bake move. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Guys, let me All right, Hudson, get loud. Today. This linebacker is amazing. Don't be surprised if he's in on every single tackle today. Yeah, Coach, this guy is something else. He has very good skills and excellent... Nice. Wreak havoc nice tackle by T.J. Ward. This guy is the difference maker on this defense, Kirk. If he plays well, then this running game will go nowhere. Second and 11. They line up at the 20. Second and 11. Come on, Otson, get loud. The Bruins line up with a single set back for you. Caught. Jeez. At the 40. Down the sideline. Jeez, He's they caught my D napping. To the 20. To Holy the smokes. UCLA. They made a great Wow. There for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? What a quarterback threw a strike. That's like the season. cow game all over again. What a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that's. All my guys just got blocked off right and they wouldn't get off of their blocks. That's horrible. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. All right, we got to adjust on D. But I did say in the pregame, UCLA had a pretty good passing attack, so they showed why on that first possession. 7-0 Bruins early in the, the game. Point. More than nine minutes left here in the first quarter. And the score, UCLA, seven, Oregon, nothing. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. Yeah, my Number emulator seems to be having nine. some hiccups running 4K, but off. I don't know. What can you do? Thurman from his own end zone. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have. Let's see if we can run the, the ball on these the guys. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Alston is the single setback. Alston takes it up the middle. Jeez. Come on, guys. Alston gets three yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. All right, see what we can do here. Let's take a look at how these guys have done on offense so far this year. Well, they've done pretty well, my friend. They're in the top ten in the country. These guys have been putting on an offensive clinic all year long. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. All right, we're going to scramble with Brown. If we have to, we'll hit 89. Brown set to go to the air. There we go. And now he's going to improvise. Sam Brown with the big run. Nice. Wow, I didn't think I'd get that much room to run, but 89 made a great block there on the edge. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, yeah. The Ducks line up with All right, well, let's get uh, Ty Hall out there. Brown drops back. Survey. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, well, that's a wide open touchdown. Ty Hall. <laughs> right back at you, boys. And came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. Uh, 
All right, tie ball game at seven early in the first quarter. And here's the Pontiac drive Now if I can get some defensive stops, that would be fantastic. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. Boom. He hits a booming kick. Austin fields it in the end zone. Boom. Well, the offense is back on the field again in their last drive. They moved the ball very well, especially through the air. On their way to that touchdown. Will start down at the 19-yard line. First and 10. One man backfield. Moline. Gets the ball. Boom, Martin with and a nice tackle. At the 20 yard line, one, with the carry. one yard gain by the halfback. From their own 20 yard Come on, Austin, get loud. Need to disrupt these guys, get them off their rhythm. The Bruins are lining up with three receivers. He drops back, throws it to the outside. Yeah, good job, Jarius Bird. Number 10 was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. Third it's third down. Ball Come on, guys. Single set back to Come on now. Olsen back to throw. He's looking. He unloads it. Yeah, there we go. Great defense on that possession. That was a tough pass to hang on to. But on third down, I think that's the catch you have to make. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you can sell your guy on the sidelines. Give me the ball back. UCLA, ready to put this one away. Thurman is the deep man, awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Thurman. That was fair catch in this one. What to look for in this drive is to see how. All Austin right, let's see if we can get Alston going. Defend the pass very well that last drive. So it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. The Ducks set up in the gun. We might be able to get the edge here with Alston. The running back has it. There you go, Alston. Nice run on the, on the outside. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the Let's ball, let get like Jay this, Will going now. Can score quickly. Watch out his right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. The Ducks line up with three wide. Brown drops back, throws a screen. Nice. Good job, Jay Locked Will. At the 39 yard line. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. All right. Second, it's second and three. Clock rolling. Ball, Ball on the 39 yard, yard, yard line. line. <laughs> the Ducks with four receivers. Yeah, I did not like the way they lined up on that one. Even less on this one, but hey, what do I know? He'll keep it on the ground again. Uh, bring him down at the only two yards on the play. Gains about two yards on the run. That'll bring up third down. See if we can get a good uh, play here of Sam Brown. We're going to scramble for the first down with him, or we'll hit number 89. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. All right, boys. Brown will throw for it. Looking, he's going right. Nice. The senior makes the catch. <laughs> Touchdown, 89. The there you go. Guys, Boom. How fast is this kid? Well, it's pretty simple. You can see it right there. Nobody on the field can stay with him. This field, I don't think anybody in the country can keep up with this guy. He's out there playing. Wabuski. If you can. Oh, he just made him get stupefied. Wah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, that normally doesn't happen on that play. I'll take that, though. They'll line up for the extra point. Yeah. Boom. And he adds the extra point. 14 to 7. To check out the Pontiac drive summary. These guys are not making me work for it. 
Number 24, ready to kick. Boom. Austin fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. They were forced into a three and Come on, defense. Let's get on this. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Call the mo. They come out with three wide receivers. Olsen drops the throw. He'll dump it short. Catches it. There we go. Good job, Ward. At the 23. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it. Come on, boys. Quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They're in the eye. Olsen steps back to pass. There we go. Good job, Jarius Bird. Great defensive play by the quarterback on the cover. All right, D. Let's get him off the field right here, right now. Looks to pass. Looks. Rifles it left. Nice. Good job by TJ Ward. Impressive stand by the defense. There we go. Oh, it's fourth down. Yard. The punt team lines up. Herman is See if we can get Jay Will going point. more on this next drive. He gets it away. Calls for the fair catch. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. This drive will start at the 36-yard line. They'll take over at the 36-yard line. First and ten. The Ducks set up in the gun. Brown back to throw. Yeah, there we go, Jay Will. Well, I said we wanted to get you going, but this is ridiculous. Touchdown, Jay Will. Touchdown. Oh my. This quarterback just keeps throwing touchdowns. Yeah, if he stays in this pace, my six or seven of them by the time this one's over. Here's the try for the extra point. We might have to run the balls of mercy on these guys. Boom. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And over six minutes still left in the first quarter with the score. Oregon 21. UCLA, Man, UCLA is just Oregon laying down. He's lining up to kick this one off. Boom. He just drills this one. Austin from his own end zone. Oh, nice. Good job, well, user tackle for Haley. Going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. All right, let's end this game in the first quarter, boys. Play fake. Wants to throw. Nice tip. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Yo, a kid, you don't get too many opportunities like that. Coach, the safety made a great read on the play. He just forgot one thing. What's that? The ball. It's second down. All right, next offensive drive, I might actually just try get Alston stats. Nice, Nick Reed. I think that was Nick Reed or it was Martin. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> They're about the same size. Still, big sack. Third and 15. They'll line up at the 11. It's third down and 15 to go. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Steps up in the pocket. Looks like he's going to run. Boom. Good job, Excellent. Martin. Way to clean up. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. There we go. It's fourth down. Man, what a game this is. Perez is waiting for the snap. Perez punts it away. And this is just a beauty. Great kick. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. The offense will start at the 33-yard line. Hmm. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Brown, option, left side. Good job, Austin. Way to take that pitch for a lot more. Tackle made there you go. At the 49-yard line. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No there question. we go. And they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere except to the ball. Lee, you're right. They look like they've never... I'm sorry, 89, but I really want to get Remini going. Room there. First and ten. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. 
Please, please block for Remine, boys. Come on now. All right. There we go. First down for Remine. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. Hmm. He's able to get into the open and create some Remine excitement right there. Alston. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37. Oh, looks like he might have an outside Oregon run here. Sets up with four receivers. Remine Alston. Man. Uh. Oh, really? Woods tackles it for a loss on the play. Darn it. Well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made Yeah, he stuffed me on that one, but. Guys up front on the defensive line. They're good too, boy. Well, they mm. created the play this time, Coach. Right, second, the offensive line is so concerned with the their penetrating abilities line. that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. The Ducks three, line up with three, three wide. Uh, I might just scramble on this one. Cut. Brown drops back. Looks. He goes. Oh, down. really? Is a touchdown? You just oh, was the missed him. Receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. Well, let's do this play. Third. Here's third and eleven. Ball, Ball, Ball on the thirty-eight yard line. line. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Brown set to go to the air. Oh, geez. Well, that was a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. So it's fourth down on the offense. Yeah, that's a good spot to go for it. The Ducks set up in the gun. Brown has his work cut out for him here. He throws. Touchdown, 89. Oh, yeah. You know what? You celebrate that. Number two on the day for 89. And the fourth touchdown pass of the first quarter for Sam Brown. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. Here's the try for the extra point. Man, what a pass by Sam Brown that was. Boom. 28 to 7 in the first quarter. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 24 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks off. Boom. From his own end zone. Yuku. Boom! What a hit by 25. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Yep, we'll take oh, that. First down. So clipping on the play will send the offense backwards. You're always taught that if you can see a player's name on his jersey, don't Come on, crowd, let's get loud. And another thing he might not see is more playing time. Olsen drops back. Throws down the middle. Jeez. The uh, it got me there. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them. 28 to 7, just like that. Olsen lines up with three receivers on his left. Hands it off. And there we go. At the 25, the ball for Gains about two yards on the run. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 25. Yard line. High formation here. 
Olsen. On play action. Throws. Good job, Bird. Way to get off your man. Couple of yards there. Come clean up. All right, defense. Let's hold him here. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Bruins are lining up with three receivers. Olsen. Nah, Gibbs with the sack. Nice. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Yeah. Nice. Give me that ball back. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Perez awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Calls for the fair catch. So they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that. Let's see if we can hit 89 on the screenplay. They'll get the ball here at the 33-yard line. The Ducks line up with three wide. Back to pass. Looking. He heaves it deep. Yep, Jay Will, the big catch. There we go. Defense came with the heat that time. Problem was they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And when you can't Saw that do one. something, that means yeah. the other guys will probably have a big play. <laughs> You're right. That pass was good for a bunch of yards that time. See if we can get Alston going on this direct First play. Ten. Ball on the 31. First, First and 10. ten. Looks like we might. We just Four might. Ahead. Sets up with four receivers. <sighs> Come on, let's get Austin going, people. He's the top running back in the Pac-10. We gotta have a good day for him to maintain that standing. The running back has it. There we go, Austin. Good and run. And taken down at the 14. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this oh, week? A thousand times, and it was just let's as see successful if we get this then one. as right. it is right now. This offense has done an unbelievable job getting points once they enter the red zone. That's right. These guys get Ooh. done better than almost anybody in the country. Come on, guys. Block for m and Alston, the ball carrier. Ah, oh, Jay Will had held his block. Alston gains about four yards on the play. That'll make it second down. Hmm. It's second down. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Come on, block for Alston. Again with the run. Williams Ooh. with the tackle at the seven. Alston gains around three yards on the run. Third down and three coming up. Ooh. The Ducks set up in the gun. Third and short, and he'll throw for it. And yeah, Jay Will and for his second the touchdown. touchdown. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Oh, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. Nice. There we go. They're lining up for the PAT. Sam Brown with five touchdown passes in the first quarter. <laughs> He makes He's gone video game on. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Yeah, this is getting ugly fast. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Austin fields it in the end zone. There we go. Good tackle by Jacobs. Just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll take over. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. 
The Bruins come out showing three wide. Olsen back to throw. He there we go. That's incomplete. Man, pass. He missed a guy who was all alone. Man, it's yeah, you tell him, boys. Great play, but failed to execute. All right, 35 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. Gosh. In second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Come on, defense. Let's keep it up. UCLA comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He's looking to pass. Throws. Oh. And down he goes at the 34 yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep. It was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice pull yard. First and ten. All right, defense. Come on. High formation here. Molly gets a toss. Ooh. He's tackled at the 39 yard line. Molly picks up five with the carry. From their own 39 yard line. We've got a second and five. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Toss. And he's going to throw. Yeah, good job, TJ Ward. Good job. That play went absolutely nowhere. Third and nine. Moline lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. Oh, fumble. Oh, hit as he threw. My bad. Still, green. That's a fourth down. Get the ball back. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Oh, that Kirk. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Thurman back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Signals for a Yeah, we're not returning punts today. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. Hmm. They'll go to work. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can establish a run game. Ace backfield. First down, Austin. Down. There we go. Ten carries nice for 87 run. yards. That was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running run. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to Man, the offensive Man, we are just line. blitzing these guys so bad. The Ducks line up with a single set backfield. Do, 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 do. Give to the tailback. He oh, nice run by Remine. Got a hundred yards on the day. And I believe that run right there puts him over the century mark. It sure did, and he is really running hard today. This guy has great vision when it comes to finding open space and running through. Here are the offensive production stats. Brought to you Man, we are just destroying these guys' souls. Oregon yeah, I don't like that look. Shotgun set. Try this one instead. And we'll keep that clock rolling. That's the good part about running the ball effectively for me. You'll get it again. There we go. Oh, Remine with another tackle. first down. They run. move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by I'm sorry, Jay Will, but field this field guy really the wants the ball, Remine. They line up at the 38. It's first down. Might be able to get an outside run here for Remini. They snap it to the back. There you go. Nine yards on the play. I'll take that. Nine yard pickup. Now we're starting to grind the clock like I wanted to do earlier. All right. It's second down and a yard to go. Police block for Dremene. Line up with a single set backfield. Brown. 
Hands it off. There we go, Ramene. They make the stop. At the 17. Jeez. Another run, and that's a first down. My friend Kirk, this kid has looked really good on this drive. Yeah, there have been times where it's looked like there was nowhere to go, but he just found a hole and made something happen. Man, I've been really impressed. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Ooh, brought to you we by might have this one outside. When performance matters most. UCLA lines up in a right. defense here. All right, here we go. And the snap goes to the back. First down. At the six. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. Well, if they don't guess right pretty soon, they're never going to stop these guys. It's first and goal. They're inside the 20. Oh, I'm going to take a gamble here. Brown on the option. And he's taken Ooh, down. Ooh, didn't get one. in, but we can get Remini in now. All right. That second brings up goal. second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Halston yeah. lines up as a single back. All right. Come on, guys. Block for Remini. We need to get him in the end zone today. And that was easy. <laughs> there we go. This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense than emotion. You can't continuously play out of position like this. You're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. And today, those mismatches have turned into yeah. touchdowns. They'll line it up for the extra point. Boom. He splits 42 to 7. They so play 79 yards, 330 off the somewhere. clock. I'm doing whatever the heck I want to these guys. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Obuski. Kicks off. Number 88 takes it at the four. Wow. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had Come on, D. Going, but were unable to get any points. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics, brought to you by Coca-Cola. Olsen with three wide receivers. Olsen on first down. He lets it oh, go. nice job, Jarius Bird. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the season. Sam Brown having a Heisman like day. Bring up second down. Second they line ten. up at the 23. Oh, the 23 it's second down. Yeah. UCLA goes with the ace set here. Martin there we go, Martin. Down. Good job. Pickup of about three. three. Gain on the play. Third down, seven. seven yards to go. Ball on their own 26. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. Olsen drops to throw. Let's it go. And it's caught. Make the move. There we Ball go. Fourth down. The, the defense didn't Game stop the pass. Not in our, in our house, baby. Sticks. And that's the important thing here. There we go. To make the catch, but Four make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down line. Thurman is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it off. Thurman takes it to 28. The coach was not happy with his defensive line on the last drive as this offense seemingly ran all over them. Yeah, this offensive line has been opening up holes that even you, coach, can run through. <laughs> You're not kidding, Kirk. They've been dominating up front. The, the Ducks oh, audible to something else. First down, look at the throw. Catches it, sheds that one. Yeah, there we go, Hale Jay Will. With a takedown at the 39. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second, Second and four, four coming up here. Ball, ball on the 39. Nice Looks like we may have an outside run for Remini. Line up with four wideouts. Get back to grinding that clock. 
Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba. It goes straight to the back. Wow. Remini Alston with a huge run. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. Alston's having his best day of the year, rushing yards wise. Right. First and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Ducks changing their play at the line. Hmm. I know what I'm going to be trying. He drops back. Looks. Na 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 na. Yeah, <laughs> number three on the day for 89. Mismatch out there. These guys have scored about as many points as possible so far. Hey, listen up, you guys. Somebody that needs was to too right easy. Out there because this was getting nah, 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 nah. And they line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 24 is lined up to kick this one off. Boom. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 88 from his own end zone. Oh, number 25 is the hit. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see They'll if they're over. The They'll set up shot at the 18 yard line. Come on, D. Moline, alone in the backfield. Olsen, hands off. Good job, Martin. Martin Way to get off your block. At the 20 yard line, on the carry. The draw play gets Eight maybe two, two yards. Right. Second it's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 20. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. Olsen drops back, rifles it over the middle. Oh, it's complete. Geez. Martin with the tackle. At the oh, Brooks. And we got Darn a new it. player on the field. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, Hopefully guys. it's just He's a, a stinger. Athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. First, yeah. first and ten. Ball All on the right, love. You need to play big. The Bruins are lining up with three receivers. Olsen hands it off. No, play fake. Yeah, great pass breakup by Fafita. The quarterback is going to think twice about throwing the football his way again. Safety couldn't hang on. What a hit by my safety. Oh, yeah, so Brooks is going to return. Good, good, good. Just getting some reps for love here. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. Olsen fakes a handoff. He's looking intercepted by Ward. There you go, buddy. Why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes. Wow, what a great pass interception there! Just stepped right in the way. They're on the right side hmm. of the 50 as they start this drive. The Ducks line up with three wide. Option left side. Late pitch. There you go, Austin. Nice run. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. Have a look and we run outside of Austin. Red zone. We might, but that guy's blinking. The last time I don't like they were it. In the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. I'm gonna try it anyway. to the back. Yep, touchdown Remine. Oh, almost a touchdown for Remine. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass. Come on, on guys, block for Remine. Let's see if Lincoln takes this one in for six. There we go. Touchdown, touchdown Remine. Another score. 
touchdowns have just become a habit for this team. Well, the defense better find a way to break that habit because yeah, there's Remy still Austin's a lot of having himself a day. They line up for the extra point. He makes the PAT. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Wow, that's the first time that's happened in three seasons on my dynasty. All right. They line up for the point after. Whatever. Boom. 56 to 7. Weehaw. Just over two minutes left in the second quarter. Our score, Oregon 56. UCLA 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Boom. Excellent kick. Do, 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 do. Number 88 fields it in the end zone. There we go. Good hit, the boys. The comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. They'll take over at the Come on, Austin. Get loud. At the 17-yard line. First and 10. Three wideouts here. Olsen back to pass. Comes across the middle. Oh, he Martin almost picked end. that one up. He, he threw it a double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense Our knew the pass was coming. Second down, 10 yards wow. to go. Wow, this game could not have gotten any better for me so far, at least offensively. I and mean, defensively is pretty good, too. They haven't given up anything after we gave up that 80-yard bomb Olsen. in the first quarter. To the right. Bird brings him down on the first the possession of their game. Nothing gained on the no play. Ooh, on yeah, Remini needs 200 yards today. Third it's third ten. down. Ball on the 17 yard line. UCLA lines up with three receivers. Olsen drops back to pass. Fires a bullet Intercepted out by Jarius Bird. Touchdown defense. Where the quarterback wanted to throw that, throw that football, Kirk. Yeah, but how about the play by the defender? That was a great interception Boom. and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. First so game in 4K is going amazingly after. well. He makes the PAT. Go so with less than two to go in the second quarter. Our score is Oregon 63, UCLA 7. Number 24 gets set to kick this one away. Boom. Decent kick. Number 88 builds it at the two. Oh, what a hit by Haley. And he couldn't get a thing going with that return, Lee Corso. Brad, let me tell you something about kickoff returns. They require good blocking and precise timing. They didn't have either one of those things right there. Single set back for you. Olsen looking to throw on first down. He'll dump it short. Jeez. And they make the stop at the 28 yard seven. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. Yeah, this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. He's backfield. He's looking to pass. He throws it. There They'll we bring go. him down at the 31 yard line. UCLA will call a timeout. Do, 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 it's second and seven. Do, 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 do. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Bruin come out in the ace formation. He's thrilled as he throws. There we go. Number third and seven. The intended target on the play. He'll make it third he down. Receiver on the play. Third and seven coming up here. Come on, D. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Oh, what a sack by Gibbs. Nice. The defensive end will get credit for the sack. See if he can get Austin over 200 yards for the half. Boom. I think that's Gibbs' second sack of the day, if I remember right. right. 
And they're ready to punt there this one away. There we go, 63-7. Thurman is back deep to return. Perez punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Signals for a fair catch. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Yeah. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. All right. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Brown options out to the left. Now he pitches it. Remine over 200 yards. That rush right there gave him 1,000 yards on the year, Coach. Amazing. Do you have any doubts about this kid winning a Heisman, Kirk? Not at all. There's some great candidates this year, but this guy is certainly up there with the best of them. They'll work from the shotgun. The running back has it. There we go. In the open field. Alston gets three yards on the carry. Come on. Second down, seven yards to go. Long on the 46-yard line. Ah, it's going to be one of those days, huh? Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Hey, Mr. Hall, you got something to say to these guys? Brown, back to throw, surveys the field. Eh, yeah, I think you do. And there's our touchdown. <laughs> well, it was already a blowout, and now it just got even uglier. Yep, there you go. 70 in the first half. You're welcome, ladies and germs. Coach, this is one of those games where everything goes right for one team, and everything seems to go wrong for the other. And right now, Boom. everything is going right for this team. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Oregon, 70, UCLA, 7. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Austin and number 88 back to return. Boom. He kicks it off. There you go. Number 88 fields it at the two. He tries a stiff arm. There we go. Defense did a good job against the last time. Yeah, I think Austin and Brown are done. He had given up quite a few yards before he was in LA. First and 10. The Bruins come out in a two tight end set. He's got an opening. Tries to Boom. Go. Nice hit. Oh, he got nailed on that one. UCLA will take their second time out of the half. It's first and ten. What, Austin? Get loud. I know we're at 70 to 7, but get loud. Back to throw. He's looking. He rifles it to the left. There we go. Nice deflection by Ward. By the corner there, coach. And that's what you call a picture perfect defense. Yep, they had everyone covered well on that play, and the quarterback had to try to force it. De -de 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 -de. The Bruins line up with a single set back to you. Olsen drops back to pass. Looking, and he's hammered as he lands. And Bird recovers. Not much hope now. That fumble was not what they needed. They're already losing big. Let's just hope they don't throw the towel in all together. The offense will start at the 26-yard line. From the gun. Brown, back to pass. J. Will! Okay, it's over. Oh, that just kills everything this defense has worked for in the first half. You can't let them score with no time left. I just think that was a great play. It got All right, and Sam Brown is done right. for the so day. Encore, the bravo. <laughs> yeah. Halftime, 77 to 7. Holy smokes. Wow. I don't care if Ohio State wins their next game. I they should be number one. Quarters, and it hasn't been pretty. Yeah, you're right. It hasn't been pretty. Let's look at these stats. I've outgained them 615 to 145. Outran them 252 to 2. Outpassed them 363 to 143. 23 first downs to their six. Two or three on third downs to their 0 of 8. Converted my one fourth down. They have three turnovers, including a pick six by me. And I have no turnovers, and I'm dominating time of possession. Sam Brown went 12 of 13, 363, eight touchdowns, no picks, and had two carries for 37 yards. 
Remini Austin had 22 carries for 215 and two scores. Jay Wheel has seven for 146 and three scores. 89 is three for 118 and three scores. And Ty Hall, the backup running back, has two for 99 and two scores. Just perfection right there. I'm going to keep my starting receivers in for a little bit, but I'm so I can build up Jay Will's stats, maybe 89, but I'm definitely going to put all the backups in the second half. Just for right now, let's go ahead and put in Nate Costa, and then we'll put in number 14, and then McCollum, and then Alston, you're done for the day, so we'll put Hall in there. All right, and we'll keep our receivers the same for now. All right, and then let's resume. Oh, uh, yeah, I start the, the ball in the second half. The UCLA will be kicking off to start the second half. And it's off. Number 89 takes it at the four. There you go. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. All right, let's get this going. They'll, They'll start at the 23 yard line. line. First and 10. They line up in the shotgun. First down, look at the throw. Deep pass down the right side. Nice. He's got it. Big he's reception by 89. The 32 yard line. They get a nice gain there. Yeah, nice pass play. You know what, Kirk? I think that defense kind of underestimated the speed nice. of that receiver that time. Yes, very good observation out of you, my friend. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust here. Hmm. First and ten. Three wideouts here. Cat, 82. All right. First down. Complete. There we go. Good job, Jay Will. First down. down. At the 21 yard line. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. Hmm. First down, 10 to go. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Hmm. Hmm. Black Cut. Cut. Set to go to the air. Can't wrap him up. Nope, you're not stopping me. Excellent. First down, 89. This wide receiver keeps the offense moving in the right direction by breaking the screen pass. Well, first down. Coaches, you know quarterbacks love it when they have a wide receiver who can take a lateral pass and turn it into a big gain like this. I mean, not only is it an easy throw, but it looks great for the quarterback stats. You're right, Kirk. Yeah. How about the receiver stats? These guys just love bragging about their yak yardage. And the wide mm. receiver screen might be the best play in the book when it comes to yards after catch. Swings it out to his man on the screen. Ah, <laughs> touchdown pass number touchdown. four. Fourth time he's been in the end zone today. He's got four touchdowns today. Man, I had no idea he had so many. Well, Coach, you got to check this out. Every time you turn around, it seems like this guy's crossing the goal line. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right. So Nate Costa the leads us point. right down the field. And he tacks on the extra point. So with better than eight minutes remaining here in the third quarter, our score, Oregon, 84, UCLA, 7. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. Wow. Austin fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. 84 to 7. Oh my. Yeah. 
Olsen drops back. He delivers. There we go, 40. Way to break that up. Was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it second down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the yard line. Single set back for you. Olsen drops back to pass. Steps up, surveys the field. Throw him deep. Oh, darn it. And he's all the way down to the darn 44. It. Nice catch by the receiver. And that reception put him over the century mark for the day. And you want to know something, Kurt? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. Come on, D. Olsen looking to throw on first down. He passes it. Got it to his receiver. Jeez. He's all the way down to the 19-yard line. Hey, if they were ever looking for a playmaker, then they found one in this wideout. Yeah. He really broke it open on that kick. Don't be surprised if the quarterback looks for him or him again. Very sure. Moline, the lone back. He's backfield. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He unloads it. It's complete. There we go. Brought down at the 16. And the completion nets a very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in. Got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. The Bruins line up with three wide. Olsen on play action. Throws. Oh, he got me, Enzo. And that's a second time today these guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks comfortable oh. in that end zone, doesn't he? Oh, that's a nice pass. Oh, that could have been a pick or a deflection. That was so close. Oh. They'll line up for the extra point. Let's see if we can get Ty Hall going on the run game. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. UCLA gets set to kick this one away. Thurman and number 89 back deep to return. He sends it off. Thurman fields it in the end zone. There's an injured player. Oh, come on, Thoreau. Don't be seriously hurt. I need you. First and ten. They line up in the shotgun. With the give. Well, that's a not a bad game. It's like what three, four yards, four yards. Gets about four yards on the play. Let's see if we can get him going on this one. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the twenty-two. You gonna give him the outside? Yes, they are. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. We saw Hall bust a 91-yarder against, I think it was Arizona State. So we know he's capable. Direct snap to the back. There you go, Hall. Way to bust it big. And he there you go. At the 45. On defense, it's all about instincts. He didn't want like your instincts work too well on Man, this. Hall is so <laughs> fast. There was a lot of running room. He is going to be a stud next year when he's the starter. At least I hope he is. First and first down. Costa changes the play at the line. Hostage steps back to pass. Oh, jeez. And it's incomplete. Whoopsie. I thought he was going to catch that one. He had it in his hands for a second. Yep. And in that same second, the defender smashed into him, knocking the ball loose. Great sure was, Coach. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Costa, back to pass. Oh. Wants to get it out on the screen. What an idiot. Was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. Let's see if we can get Memphis off. 
from their own Oh, no, wait. Oh, oh hold on. I'm taking a timeout here. Oregon calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. They line up at the 45. Third and 10. UCLA comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Drops to throw. He looks. And now he's going to run. Oh, that's a first down because of a face mask. Thank you. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. I'll accept that. First down. That was a well deserved 15 yards, in my opinion, coach. I'm with you on that one. If you let go, then they'll only peg you for five yards. But First here, it looked like he Ball held on until the player line. was on the turf. They'll work from the shotgun. Two. Looks to pass. He wants it all. Na, 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 na. Oh, Pasta, you idiot. Lee, do you think they'll be able to catch Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't think it's going to make much difference. They've dug themselves in a pretty big hole. This drive will start at 20 and 20. First and 10. The Bruins go with the eye formation. Olsen to the air on first down. He lets it go. Oof. Moline was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. On the play. They line up at the 20. Second down and 10 to go. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. Laterals back. He's hit and got uh, Darn it. Tackle at the 34. Number and the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. Eight. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? A thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. Moline is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And straight ahead we go with the pullback. Gibbs tackles him at the 37. Three yards there on the play. Second they line up at the 37. Come on, D. I formation here. The Bruins go with the I formation. They give to the oh, boy. Fumble. Oh, we didn't get it. He's level at the 36-yard line. They dodged a bullet right there, guys. Boy, did they. That halfback has got to keep both hands on the football. Coaches okay, so Thurman will be back the in the football. next game. That's good. They are supposed to have the best hands on the football team. UCLA sets up in the eye. Looking. Let's it go. Complete. Oh, get leveled by number 40. Give me that ball back. That's what I like to see. Chris Boom. What a hit. Oh, look at that hit. Oh. The Bruins are lining up to punt it away. Number 89 is back awaiting the punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Number 89 calls for the fair catch. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. The offense will take over at the 11. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Rolling out to the left side. He's looking. He keeps it. Oh, nice game by Costa. yard line. Second it's second and three. Ball on, on the 18. Yard line. The Ducks. Please block for Ty Hall. Set back to you. Hall takes the game. Jeez, how can we not block for Ty Hall, man? Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss on the play. Third they line and four. up at the 17. Third down. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Hmm. He 
Looking to pass. Rolls right. Oh no. Hit is he through, really? Ball's incomplete. Williams was the intended target on the play. And that'll make it fourth down. Fourth and four. So they're set to punt this one away. Austin, the return man. First punt of the night. It, and he really got a leg into this one. Austin fields it at the 38. So the offense takes over. There we go, Fafita. With the tackle at the 46. On the run. That'll be a game of three yards. On the play. Second, Second and seven. seven. Ball on their own 46. Moline is the single setback. Tries to juke. Here's an opening. And he makes the stop at the 44 yard line. And he busts a big one on this defense. When this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the Come box. Come on, D. Find a way to get a to stop. stop him. The Bruins line up with a single setback to you. There we go, Gibbs. Great tackle. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 44. High formation here. Olsen drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Oh, Martin says no. And this one falls in. Hey. Ooh, they got injury. Probably, three. probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. It doesn't look like it's too bad, but the trainers are going to take a look anyway. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the forty-four yard line. Is an impact player, and on third and long, you better expect him to make a play. He drops back. He yeah, boy, the sack. There you go. I think his first of the day, and I think his ninth of the year. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Yeah, he just got in there so fast. Fourth and fifteen. The Bruins line up the punt. Forty-nine yard line. Number 89 is the deep man awaiting the return. It's a high kick and it holds up there. Number 89 signals for a fair catch. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for a slow bowl replay to recap it. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Drop back to pass. He throws the screen. He snags it. There we go. And they push him out at the 17-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. They line up at the 17. It's second down and two to go. The Ducks audible to something else. Looking to pass. Looking. He lets it there you go, Jay Will. Got him again. I think that's 200 yards for you now. Play by the big time receiver. Well, here you see why they always try to get the football in this guy's hands. I think that's it for Jay Will. Let me make sure. No. Yeah, that's it for Jay Will. Okay. Now let's change our receivers. Walker and Fuller and Jacobs and Lupo and I guess that's it. All right. First down. Ball on the 46-yard line. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. All right, let's get you going, Hall. Please block for Ty Hall. Please. Hall gets the call. Jeez. The 42 yard line. Four yard gain by the back. Second, 
Six second, second down. Six. six yards to go. Ball on the 42. All right, looks like he's going to get an outside run. UCLA lines up in a dime defense here. It goes straight to the back. Really? Come on. Hall picks up five with the carry. So that'll make it third down. Third it's third one. down and a yard Ball for the first on down. The 37 Ball on the 37. Come on, guys. Block for Ty Hall. Hall this is going to be your back. star running back next year. You need to block for him. He's the new beef stew, basically. There we go. First down. At the 32. And they convert the first down on that run. Now the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. You're right. And those are the kind of runs that you need to have a Come successful Come on, emulator. Offense. Don't glitch up now. They line up at the 32. First down. Captain Oregon Duke. using an audible. Oh, really? <laughs> They're going to give it to Walker now, huh? Hopefully this works. Looking to throw on first down. There we go. Touchdown, Walker. There we go. Hey, coach, was that a fine pass play or what? Uh, or what is right? This young man is a complete package of quarterback. Those yeah. Those will be, and he gets a quick release to them. In a big, big hurry. What a throw by Costa. Just beautiful. So they're ready for the extra point. Boom, 91 he to 14. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon to kick. Boom. He sends this one deep. Austin from his own end zone. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Oh, Nick Reed with his first sack of the game, Olsen I think. Is. Nope, that was the second sack. My bad. So he was the guy who had the sack earlier in the game. Nice. Nick Reed. It's second down. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at Oh, Martin could have picked that. you got to be careful going into coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Third and long. They line up at the 13. Third down. Come on, D. UCLA goes with the ace set here. Looks to pass. Let's it fly. There we go. Fourth down. And the ball's incomplete. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Number 89, back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. Number 89 calls for the fair catch. Now we see the offense come onto the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. Secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. The defense lines up with six DB. There we go, Mr. Hall. Oh, nice run. At the 42-yard line. There we go. Good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. All right, we'll just run out the First clock in the third quarter Ball here. On the 42 yard line. The defense is in the nickel. All right, end of the third quarter. 91 to 14. 
Listen, the epic blasting continues. This one is well in hand. With the score, Oregon 91, UCLA 14. First, First and 10. Ball Ooh. on the 42 yard line. Not there. Four receivers in the formation. They'll give it off here. Jeez, that hole was swallowed up quick. The 42. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. Second, second down and ten to go. All on the 42-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Hmm. Look at the throw. He looks. He throws it. Oh, Walker with the catch and the touchdown. Cost is done for the day. Touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double team him. Boom. And they're lining up for the PAT. Boom. And he adds the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. And I think Costa's done since he just threw his third touchdown pass. Let's put in 14, McCollum, and Lucas. There we go. There we go. Number 24, Randy King. King. Boom. He boots it deep downfield. Number 88 from his own end zone. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. They'll go to line. work at the 23-yard line. They come out with a big set. Olsen off the fake, catches it, Ooh. and he's taken down at the 36. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with a blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. All right. First and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Single set back for you. Olsen throws. Oh, yeah, there we go. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't play for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Well, it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. The halfback with a carry. There we go. Great tackle, 97. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. Third their own, 35-yard line. Here's third and 11. They line up in an eye. Olsen, back to pass. Throws down the middle. Oh, boom. Fourth down. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't accepted. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. All right. They'll go Here to we go. Again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. He punts it. Number 89. 27. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll go to work at the 32-yard line. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. They give to the tailback. There we go, Hall. Nice run. A seven-yard run by the running back. Second, Second and three coming up. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
The Ducks line up with a single set backfield. There we go, Hall. Nice run. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid Good. run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Have, have an outside run here Number for Mr. 14, Hall. Lines up with four wideouts. It's a direct snap. Tackle at the 45. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second it's second down. Six. Ball on the 45-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. There we go. He snags it. Bye. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, He's Walker. All the way. Touchdown. They have been lighting up the scoreboard all day long. This is simply amazing. They have basically scored every time they've touched the ball. Right now, they're within one touchdown of breaking the all-time NCAA record for most points in a single game. They'll line up for the extra point here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. <sighs> Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Austin and number 88 set to return. And it's off. Number 88 from his own end zone. Shifty move there. There we go. You know who's trembling right now? Not the defense. They've played well all game. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Moline lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. First down. Look at the throw. Nice it's tip. Deflected. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. That'll make it second down. UCLA comes to the line with three wide. Oh, oh, oh get crushed. He let that Number one go 10, before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Third Sometimes if you can 10. safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. The Bruins come out showing three wide. Olsen drops back. He's looking for his man. Catches Really? That's BS. How do they just bounce off him like that? That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't it, coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. Come on, D. Gotta get another stop. Single set back for you. Oh! Boyd with the huge he hit. That was so nasty. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, coach. The halfback had nowhere to Come go. Come on, D. Get Single set back for you. Back to pass. He's looking. He's under pressure. Let's it fly. Jeez. Oh, so close to breaking it. Number 31. Defense is coming with heat on that play. Oh, my gosh. is just convicting again. Moline is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He throws. Oh, thank God. Incomplete pass. He's just lucky that he got that pass away. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. They line up at the 45. 
Second down. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Throws. Broke away from one. And he's tackled at the 33. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. And they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. Olsen hands it off. He can scoot. A little shake and bake move. Really? Wow. Tackle made. The nine yard line. What, what a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play and you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss nice play and we take a quick come look on at the D. From within the red zone brought to you by old spice red zone when performance matters most Olsen with the give Jeez. and down he goes at the one it's eight yards on the play it's second and goal this is the tenth play of this drive the Bruins go with the eye formation With a takedown. There we go. He may have gotten back to the line of the play. Third, they line up a few feet from the goal line. Third down. UCLA lines up in a goal line set. They hand it off. Ah, oh, he got it. Darn it. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he converts the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. I'm predicting an onside kick. And how did I know? And it looks like they're gonna try an onside kick here. How did I know? Here's the onside kick. Oh, thank God That'll Bird recovered that. This one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. Yeah, well, they got raked through the coals. Gave up over a hundred points. First and ten. The defense is in the nickel. They snap it to the back. Yeah, there you go. Brought down at the 35. I can't even describe what kind of day this offense is had. They had their own personal track meet up and down this field today. You got it, Kirk. They're about to break the NCAA single gay record for the most total offense. From the 35 yard line, do, do, do. it's first down. Do, 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 do. The Ducks line up with a single set backfield. What? On the ground, up the middle. There we go, Take Ty Hall. At the 26. A gain of nine yards on the play. See if we can get a run off the backup from the 26 yard line. Ball second and one. Six yard line. Perry lines up as a single back. Perry takes really oh Perez brings him down for a loss. Down for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Third it's third two. down and two to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Four wide receivers in the formation. Really? Come on. And he hits him hard at the 27. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Yeah, get a penalty great, for me? Oh, this darn it. He saw the run was coming, and he, he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Four more and down, two. and the offense ball is still on the field. Seven yard line. 
Number 14 with three wide receivers. for the first he delivers complete nice first down at the 14 yard line boy did he zip that ball in there yeah you're right there's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw he delivers this one right where it has to be great arm strength and since we're in the red zone let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by old spice red zone when performance matters most the ducks line up with four wideouts direct snap wow okay well they called that and one in the back and the linebacker Make comes up and makes a big stop this is ball. textbook this is how you're supposed to play against the run yeah and that time the defense got him to go backwards the ducks are lining up with three receivers all right Jeez. At the 18. Maybe a yard that time on the screen. Great. The fine folks from EA Sports would like to take Sam Brown, of course, player of the game. Didn't play a lick of the game. time in the second half. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Looking, number 14, delivers. At the 14, and with that last grab, he just passed the 100-yard mark in receiving. All right, how close are we to 1,000 yards? Oh, we need one more yard. Oh, I'm going to go for the yards. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Number 14 comes to the line with three wide. He's rolling right. Fires. Touchdown and a thousand yards. Take that. And it's official. They just broke the record. When they talk about the greatest offensive performances of all time, this game will have to be up there. Nobody has ever scored this many points in one game before today. Well done, guys. They're going to remember this game for the rest of their lives. Boom, 112 to 21. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Boom. He kicks it off. Fountain fields it at the two. A little juke. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, Coach, they really haven't had too much success so today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team the back on track run. and build First some ten. confidence going into the next game. Single set back to you. He drops back. Ooh, nice hit. And they couldn't hook up on that one. That's what a good pass rush can do for you. Yep, they got in the quarterback's face and made it tough on him to throw a good pass. They line up at the 20. It's second and 10. Ace backfield. Bell, not a there we go. They'll knock him down for a loss. So they'll lose some yards on that counterplay, guys. Yeah, there was no misdirection on the defense, that's for sure. These guys stayed in the game over. And made a very nice play. Final score 112 to 21. And that's the end of the game. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. UCLA came out as severe yeah. underdogs, and they were absolutely demolished by a much stronger... That's made the case for me being the number one football. team in the country. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA football 2007. But until then, our final score in this one, Oregon 112, UCLA 21. Can't wait to see those From final stats. Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. 
set a new school record for points in a game with 112. Awesome. Man, I can't wait to see these final numbers. Holy smokes. Oh my. So we beat him 112 to 21. We outgained him 1,013 to 338 in total offense. Outran him 377 to 65. Outpassed him 636 to 273. Recorded six sacks. They had none. I went four of eight on third downs. They went 214. I converted all three of my fourth downs. They had three turnovers. I had only one, and I dominated time of possession. For me, Sam Brown went 12 of 13, 363 with eight scores, no picks, and had two carries for 37 yards all in the first half. Uh, let's see. Nate Costa went. Oh, hold on. Nate Costa went 8 of 12, 196 with three scores and a pick, and had two carries for 17 yards. QB number 14 went 5 of 5 for 77 yards with two scores and no picks. Running the ball, Remine Olsen had 22 carries for a career-high 215 yards, and he had two touchdowns. Ty Hall had 15 carries for 109 yards and caught uh, three passes for 103 yards and two scores. Meanwhile, in the receiving game, Jay Will had 11 catches for 212 and four scores. Number 89 had five catches for 174 and three scores. And Curtis Walker had three catches for 119 and three scores. And Fuller had three catches for 28 yards and a score. Defensively, Martin had a team high eight tackles. Fafita had eight tackles. Gibbs had seven tackles, four for loss, including three sacks. Boyd had five tackles, two for loss and a sack, five tackles for long. In terms of tackles for loss, Boyd, Reed, and Ward each had two. In terms of sacks, Nick Reed had two sacks. Boyd had the one. And then Bird and Ward each had an interception. And in terms of pass deflections, we had three from Bird, three from Martin, three for Ward, and two for Fafita. And then in terms of forced fumbles, Boyd and Gibbs each forced a fumble. And Bird recovered one. And that's pretty much it. Uh, is UCLA stats even worth looking at? Olsen went 18-42, 273, two scores and two picks. And Moline had 96 yards on 18 carries. That's about it, though. Austin had 5 for 170 and two scores receiving. Number 10 had 4 for 60. And, yeah, that's about it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and exit to the main menu of this game. So as we can see, uh, I just laid the ultimate whipping on UCLA. But that's okay. We're all done here. But with that being said, thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Leave your likes and comments down below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I would encourage you to subscribe to my Quarter and Joshu TV channels. One, because I've live streamed there in the past. And two, you'll find exclusive content there that you won't find anywhere else. And with that, I bid you guys adieu, farewell, and see you next time.